Welcome everyone, I'm Kimberly Boschman and this is the Intentionally Intuitive Podcast. In this episode, we're gonna take a look at the full moon that's occurring on October 17th, 2024. We're gonna take a look at, at each life path number and see how this energy could present. This of course is a general forecast. If you would like your own personal reading so we can take a look at your own personal numerology, you can book some time with me. My information's in the description box below. Also, if you book a um, any reading that has a year ahead forecast included with it, you will get the rest of 2024 included in that forecast as well as all of 2025. So a little bit of a discount there with what you're getting with that forecast. If you're interested, hop on over to my website and book some time with me. All right, let's go ahead and take a look. Now that we're through the eclipses, let's see what's coming up with this next full moon. Life Path 33.6. So for this full moon, which will feel the potency of this a few days before, a few days after, then of course during, um, we're going to be working with, or you're going to be working with, the vibration of the 55. So 505. This can be a beautiful opportunity or bring in a beautiful opportunity for some kind of lovely reunion of sorts with old friends, with family, and or loved ones. So I would say, if you have an opportunity, and perhaps you'll be the one creating that opportunity, say yes to reconnecting at this time. It might mean that you have to drive a little bit of distance or maybe take a trip or something like that in order to reconnect. Um, but I would say it's absolutely going to be worth it under this vibration. There's something beautiful that both parties are all involved can really get from that, um, that reconnection. So beautiful energy. If you have the opportunity to do that, I would say definitely be open to it. And I say be open to it because it can definitely bring up past relationships that maybe went south or there was some disconnection or some discord that might need to be revisited so that there can be greater healing there. So I would say if it's safe to do so, if you feel comfortable, if if it works for all involved, then this is a great time to do that, to clear the air, to heal what needs healing, to, you know, release that person in a way that is healthy for all involved and to be able to give them the opportunity to do the same if that's what's called for. I will say that for most of these exchanges though, your cup will be fit, like it'll it'll be full, right? You'll feel good from these these experiences with these, you know, this these reunions, these connections with others. It really is that of a higher vibe that can feel really, really like just really rewarding and really soft and gentle type of energy. This could also be a beautiful period for reconnecting with self. So this is a beautiful time to pamper yourself, to do something you truly, truly, truly enjoy. Try something new, explore new sides of yourself, see what you discover, um, because you might be surprised. This is also a lovely potent energy for truly tapping into your joy and making more time for yourself to play in those moments more often. So if you've kind of been burning the candle at all ends, you've been really kind of burnt out, you're feeling kind of like you're running, you know, on empty, this is such a great energy to really block some time off for yourself if you're able to do that, to take a quick vacation, to um, just say yes to yourself in a way that allows you to play and explore and use your imagination and your creativity, not even for like an end goal, just to really immerse yourself in that vibration so that you can reconnect with your inner child and your inner joy and find ways to express that. And again, not necessarily for some kind of end result, um, but so that you can tap into that and connect with that energy. That's really the goal. Uh, for some of you, this energy can bring in someone very, very special into your life that will help you to find new ways to experience the joys in life and to experience life with all of your senses. Because at the core of this energy, you have like double dose of five energy. And five energy is all about experiencing life with all of your senses and coming in and sort of spicing things up where maybe things have become too mu mundane, too rigid, too routine. And to remind us that, you know, we aren't just here for the challenges and the experience of life. We're here for the joy as well. And to really do what lights us up and to, 
you know, find ways to do that even in the face of challenges and adversity. So I would say travel, exploring, thinking and doing outside of the box, um, and even well beyond your comfort zone are absolutely encouraged under this full moon. So anything you can say yes to that might be a little spontaneous or a little bit like not like you, this is absolutely the time to say yes to those sort of things. And let yourself be silly. Let yourself, you know, just let your hair down. Enjoy yourself under this full moon. Find ways to do that. Create ways to do that and explore new ways to do that. And I think you'll be really happy that you did. Definitely, this is a time for surrender and releasing control and to be spontaneous. And, you know, this this new, this new full moon could absolutely open your eyes to an experience that is an experience that might be the most memorable, exciting time of your life this year. So say yes to it. Beautiful energy, 33 sixes. I hope it's a great one. Take care. Bye for now.